Yeah. She's addicted to uh, obviously iced chocolate. If you need emergency service in Thailand, just where'd you say you were from again? California. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, there you go. <laughs> Good. I think it'll pull out of the concrete. Why'd the chicken cross the road? Hey y'all, Chuck here with No Time To Be Sad, and this is my beautiful wife of 15 years, Paige. We downsized, saved, and liquidated to quit our lifestyle in America of living for things to a life of wherever it might take us. We moved to Thailand in November of 2016. We currently live Thai style on the Mekong River in a town called Tat Phanom in the province of Nakhon Phanom. This is my wonderful Thai family. Every day for us is an adventure and we spend most of our time exploring and living for the moment. We know nothing lasts forever and we try to enjoy every new day we have. I don't have time for things that really don't matter in my life. So there you have it. No time to be sad. Good morning, everybody. Paige and Chuck here in Koh Samui, Thailand. We are headed to Chumpon. It's gonna, it was a good trip. It's not over yet. We gotta get back to mom and uh, here we are. Here we are in Prachup taking a walk. Yeah, take a jump. Awesome. We're oh, we're gonna take a yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do a little exercise once we get down there. We're gonna have mama do a couple of push-ups. Yeah. yeah, a couple jumping jacks. Yeah. Yeah, then we have to go get some more coffee quick. <laughs> Thank you. There's a daughter playing with mama. Today we had fun. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for coming to dinner with us, and thank you. and uh, we went to the pool. We went to Macro. Yeah. We uh, took a walk. Hey Chuck, she took a walk. She yeah, did pretty well. Yes. Maybe seven thousand five hundred steps, I think. Maybe just a little less, but still a good day. Very good. All right. Bye bye. Bye. Recover for a couple of days before we head back towards Isan. Got a lot of things to do back home. For starters, I gotta get my mom some kind of vehicle. <laughs> so we'll figure that out whenever we get home, but Jeff on. Mm -hmm. Definitely recommend this resort though, it's good, huh? Beach is nice right out back. A couple of really nice swimming pools. This place is pretty big and pretty empty right now, but had a good time in the town, but uh, it's time to go. Joe wants to come spend a month here. I don't know what we would do. We would definitely get to know Koh Samui. I think that would be the longest we ever stayed anywhere in Thailand if we did that. Anyway, let's go eat breakfast. Good morning. Some sky now. Ready for the next adventure? Oh yeah. It's gonna be a long day. Six hours of driving, an hour and a half on the boat. I'll bring beer. We got beer. It's not six hours, is it? The Chupon from after we Once get off we the get, boat? No. No, five. I think five. Good morning, you two. Good morning. I learned something from Nicole, actually. Hmm? Actually, that's not true. I learned something every day. Yeah, it's wobbly. But, uh, she says she doesn't like wobbly bacon. I've never heard that wobbly term. Wobbly. Where'd you say you were from again? California. Oh, that never mind. Yeah, that's, okay. there you go. I'm figuring it out now. <laughs> California and Texan, how's that working out? It works out pretty good. <laughs> I'm just giving them crap. Somebody had mentioned that I don't give them enough airtime, but you, no. you guys are pretty quiet uh, yeah. for the most part. And we're reserved. Awesome to, uh, <laughs> awesome to hang out with, for sure. Mmm, brownies.
Okay, we're out of here. Looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. Great time, we've got some movie traffic's pretty light. It's still early though, 8.30. We gotta go sit up here and wait for the uh, check-in early and the VIP express lane to get back. So, had a good time, huh? Yeah, very good time. And we will sit in the SUV this time. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure we stay together. Yeah. I don't think there's a market on the other side. No. We'll be standing around. <laughs> nothing, to, nothing to do over there. Nothing to do. We had this first one planned. We knew there was a market. <laughs> All right, next stop, Chumpon. cigarettes for many years like seriously like I smoked almost two packs a day for over 20 years so I know what it's like to have an addiction to something so uh, I'm gonna take Miss Starbucks here to uh, to Starbucks because she's addicted to uh, obviously iced chocolate so uh, yeah I know what it's like to be addicted and since we have to stop I'm going to get KFC and Joe's got to get KFC if they're open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thanks, Chuck. <laughs> oh, look at all these pastries. What are just for the car? Oh, okay. <laughs> you guys pack, pack the lunch, huh? Oh, we thought we was going to be stopping at 7-Eleven, so we oh, had a salad yeah. and chicken. There. You just prepared, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We thought we was going to be stopping at the mall. Yeah, we didn't know either. Yeah, make more money. That, that, how much is this down ice it's, coffee? For these two, it's probably 300 bucks. I'll ask if it's it's not cheap. Ten, same as America, like 10 bucks or something? Yeah. Well, together, yeah. Five and five. At least. I think this is like 155 yeah. baht. Uh, and gift is probably the same. Probably, probably like 300 baht. At least it comes with a nice bag. Yeah. 
I, they could do away with the bag and charge less, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody happy? Happy. Happy, happy. Yeah. Got mine, got my cold french fries. Paige got nuggets. I asked Paige, I said, can you get me a, can you ask them maybe if they have like an extra mashed potato? I wanted mashed potatoes, but she got me the french The french fries are always cold. Everything is really good. KFC in Thailand is good, but the french fries, the standard always cold. So I so. said, just give me mashed potatoes. So I get french fries. So I said, hey, can you ask them if they have like an extra mashed potato? I'll pay for it. So she brought me that and then she got me that. She goes, that's for you. It's a strawberry, strawberry. And Thai, that's uh, strawberry is like a slang word for like a drama queen. So I got the drama queen juice. And God knows there's enough drama queens out there, right? <laughs> that looks good. Very pink. Mm -hmm. We, uh, Actually, I feel pretty good, not too full. Now we still have about another two hour drive. Truck up here with a coconut truck. These big gigantic monkeys are working monkeys. They climb up the trees and uh, they cut these coconuts down. But they're they're bigger than the normal size monkeys. And uh, normally these monkeys only have one owner. And uh, he goes around, but we, uh, me and Klaus met some guy in Prachup who has one. And he says his monkey works for a beer, one can beer at the end of the day. And uh, if he does a good job, sometimes he gets two. But that's pretty cool. There's more chicken. More chicken? Oh, hell no. I'm full. In Mac. <laughs> In Leo. You don't use, and you don't use them, right? You're not used. And you don't use them. Uh -huh. Are you always giving me candy? No, I don't want. <laughs> I don't want. Yes. My, what do you say? My owl. <laughs> my owl. You're always giving me my candy. My owl cup. I got one already. You, okay, well, that you could have two. Your... My owl cup. No. <laughs> Chad. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll eat it. <laughs> if you need emergency service in Thailand, just only thing I can suggest maybe you pay the driver like two thousand baht or something to go, because they, I don't know, they like in not really a big hurry. They don't go around people like, you know, like you see in the in the West, and people don't don't get out of their way either. And he's still driving slow. Maybe he needs a cup of coffee. Maybe that's what he's going for. <laughs> you know, they should hire the hotshot drivers to drive those ambulances, you know? I don't know. Maybe they don't want to spill something. The way I love God bless. Well, we are in the city, and I think school just let out about 30 minutes ago, so there's a lot of traffic. But uh, we'll be there in about three minutes, according to Guggen. But uh, it doesn't look like we're just going to be. I don't think that's going to happen. For some reason, people are just sitting here. Good, good job there, Mitch, with, with uh, hanging in there with uh, oh, no, it's with <laughs> no worries, man. We did good. 
Google it loves me, you know. Oh, turn around. Go the other way. Oh, no, just kidding. Go back that way. Yeah, yeah, no, it's good. Yeah. Mmm, got some beer? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Who brought the beer? I guess they're carrying their own San Miguel light. Well, here is our luxurious room. <laughs> actually, it's pretty decent. We've stayed here before, a couple times actually. And uh, yeah, it's, what was it like $18? No. Yeah, $18. $18? 17 something. 17, 17 something a night? <laughs> yeah. You guys like your seventeen dollar room? So far, so good. I don't know yet. I'll let you know later. I like the fact that it's seventeen dollars. <laughs> I don't know, my guys. If I'm sleeping on the floor, I won't like it. <laughs> You'll have to see Joe's video for his review. Alrighty, let's go see what our room looks like. Yes, where's the link here? Please watch. Why? Why? Hi, please. Have a cool question. Just turn all the lights on first. Over there. We do? Oh. Yeah. Joe got the mountain view. Come on, you we check out the sea view. And the jungle view. Jungle view. Yeah, we got the sea view. <laughs> yeah. You get to see your view, right? <laughs> All right. Where are you going, babe? Go eat. Well, we're going to go for a little bit of walk. Let's see how far we get. The lady's already spotted a couple of restaurants. And it's about five o'clock, so I imagine they'll be hungry real soon. Wow, look at those chairs. Hmm. That almost looks fake, huh? Is it? Is that real wood? You gotta buy one of those. If you can afford that, you can afford to have it delivered. And right down here is the, uh, yeah, there's the mall. Don't look now, but right on the other side of that is the Starbucks. You can't see it, it's on the other side, but it's there. Um, probably, I think she does, she can certainly. Yeah. Hey mom, there's your new car right there. Electric car. I think that's got a license plate, so I guess you gotta have a license. So no problem. Is that electric? Yeah. Got a luggage rack. Wow, it's a, actually a three seater. Huh. For three ties. Yeah. Definitely not three of us. <laughs> that would be funny though. Wow, it's like a wind tunnel here. Feels good. There's a kebab cheese. Kebab. The bunny shop. Gift did you? That's like a magnet for gift. Huh? She spotted some. Gift. Right here at nighttime is a big night market. I've already spotted the chicken, the late night chicken snack. If you need Swenson's, it's here. I can't 
can't believe Paige passed those up. Some Loki. Do it, do it. Do it. Do it. On that, break. Yeah. I think it'll pull out of the concrete. <laughs> <laughs> that one comes with water. Sexy underwear. You know how Thai ladies like to run around in their uh, pajamas all day? Was, no, I don't. No? Yeah, I do. <laughs> why don't they wear pajamas like that? Yeah, why don't they wear pajamas like that? I agree. I concur. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow for breakfast, you want to get the yellow ones so you could wear it for breakfast in the morning? What about that one? No bra. Okay, this is a little bus station that we kind of walked up on. Chumpon. Right there is where you get your ticket. Well, the ladies want to eat here. Have a lot of stuff here. Now this type of place, the food's not going to be, it's not going to be hot. Joe got one of my favorite uh, soups, it's mm. Vietnamese soup, Nissan they call it, Cao Piak San. Some places they call it Phu Chap. Phu Chap? Phu Chap you want. In Vietnam it's Phu. Yeah. Mm. No? Mm. What do they call it in Vietnam? Vietnam. Phu? No, no. Phu is Quay Tiao. Uh, Gwai Tiao is food. Mm -hmm. That's just something different, huh? Mm -hmm. That's something different. That's good. I need some spice. Mm-hmm. Thick bun. Gwai Tiao. Gwai Tiao. It's good. It's delicious. This particular food is for, it's good for when you're drunk. What they do, basically, what it is, it's a bowl of rice soup. And then you just take little samples and put it in the rice right soup. Like that. Oh, cool. yeah. So that, that's the thing, it's just a bowl of rice soup. Just okay. take it, put it in there, mix it a little bit, and then eat it. But it's good for like um, a pre hangover food, actually. So let's get drunk. Let's do it. Cheers to that. Oops. Yay! Cheers. Good times, good friend, great food. Well, great friends and good food, however you want to say it. Okay. Usually, normally, me and Paige, when we're not traveling, we seem to be traveling a lot here lately. We don't really drink beer. Or really, I don't drink beer at all. But we like to have a beer at night, along with many people. But there's a few people that want to criticize me, which are, I can make them disappear easily because they're pretty ugly about it. One of them said I was going to drink myself to death and leave my mom stranded in Thailand. <laughs> when I see that, I was like, well, you must be like a recovering alcoholic who can't handle your beer anyway. But either way, you're not buying my beer, so don't worry about it. I can have two or three beers at night. I'm a grown adult. These people are probably sitting at a bar texting it anyway, just trying to annoy me. So here's to you. Well, that was good. Paige paid for everything. For four of us with two beers, 500 baht. That's so much better than what we've been spending on the tropical island paradise. Thank you for that. Dinner was great. No problem. You ate like a bird. I, I'm full. I'm still from full from the KFC I had for lunch. <laughs> hey, boss. Mm. Well, that's the umbrella store. 
It's the world's first solar power motorbike. Oh, cool. <laughs> Attack dog. <laughs> Why'd the chicken cross the road? This side. That's right, you got it. <laughs> okay guys, gonna end the video. We've got Joe and Mitch across the hall. We've got a Thai couple here with a kid that's screaming, of course. Wouldn't be Thailand if we didn't have some kind of some kind of noise, but uh, we're gonna wake up and go to Prad Chuup tomorrow. This place is pretty good. They don't have coffee here. Well, they do, it's downstairs, they have a breakfast. If I can remember correctly, it's a decent breakfast, but I've got some cups from, and we carry our own coffee pot. Joe's like, well, I don't have that one. I said, well, I'll get you one from the uh, kitchen. <laughs> there you go, Joe. <laughs> drink it, drink it like that. And don't come back for, for more water either. <laughs> anyway, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.